research, I saw how many times people played pimps and they were always, it was always something weird about them, right. I guess, because it's a weird job, you know what I mean? Right. And I wanted somebody that didn't seem like none of that, that he really thought it was a business and treated it like that. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, those, adding those levels to acting is what all actors do if they're not Steve or Cedric or Ricky. Mm -hmm. Like, you're trying to create a character. You don't, you can't just be phase on in every movie. Like, you're just going to take your shirt off like every Every movie, like, why does it say that in your script? Man, let Big Worm live. Let him breathe, cat. Let Big, let, let, let big Worm breathe. Stall him out now. You having an unnatural allegiance to losers is not like you. No, I ain't got no allegiance to the man. But you got to admit the role that he played, Big Worm. I mean, Big Perm in Friday Night. You got to give him credit for the role. Now, come on now. Let me ask you a question. Yes. If what you're saying is correct, why wasn't he in next Friday or Friday after next? I mean, his role, I mean... It wasn't good. <laughs> Sorry. There was a lot of people that didn't, that appeared in the first one that weren't in the second one, Cat. I'm just telling you why. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it's a there's a news flash that there are reasons for things in a business. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, what would you? Why would you? Why, why did you bench D'Lo? He had two points. What are you talking about? Shut up. But I like him. Nobody cares about that. That's not what we're talking about. These are business conversations that deal with businessmen. Right. Right. When you're good at something, you should progress. The guys that are not as good, they should fall down by the wayside. That's natural. They're worthy. So you believe if your talent doesn't support it, you should fall by the wayside, and the guys that have the talent and they get elevated, they should move. No, that's what water says. That's what the universe say. The universe say the levels. <laughs> Every, no, I don't. Not I say. Who am I? I'm nobody. But I'm working every day. As if I think that's what should happen is how it should be. And I'm choosing comedians that also write and work hard and don't steal other people's material. And I'm making sure that they all make three hundred thousand uh, dollars a season. And I'm making sure that they're not ever signed to me or my conglomerate. And that's why they're successful. No, you can work with me and still be an independent businessman, boss owner like you came in. Right. I don't need you to be subservient to me. That's those other guys. Guys that make you pay dues. <laughs> you said earlier that you rewrote a lot of what Money Mike was to say and how he behaved. So they allowed you the, 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 the freedom, the liberty to add Leo. How much? Would they allow you to just make an interception if it didn't nobody talk about it? As a football player, if the ball comes your different. way, can you just grab it? Can you make an interception anytime? Are you allowed to pick up any fumble? Are yeah. you you can do any hustling, yeah. right? Oh, okay, same here, same here. But here's the thing, though. Even as a, even as an offensive player, yeah. they might let me add lib once I get a couple of years under my breath. They wouldn't let me add lib as a rookie. That was your first movie. I I told you the conversation in my first movie. Just because I'm I am committed to laughs. The only way I made it past those 300 comedians, I didn't tell you this. What it required is I had to watch all 300 comedians 10 times a piece. I watched your set 10 times of you performing, whoever you were, and then I counted how many laughs you got every time you did these amount of minutes. So if you...